But let's go ahead and add the final layout here that we're actually going to keep. I copied the title of the layout to the clipboard so I could just paste it in. But this time I'm going to have Rhino create the details. You're going to see one advantage to doing this. I'm going to pick OK. And not only did Rhino add the details, but it already set the views. So I have top view. This is actually considered the front view and this is uh, the right view, but you can tell when you double click on it the names of the, uh, of the views. So we are ready to get our details arranged, put a title block on here, and get this out to, uh, to the printer. So let's start with resizing the details. You know how to make them. You know how to make them one by one. Now you know how to make them when you're adding the layout. And using the gumball widget, I'm going to hold the shift key down and pick on the uh, scale marker here and scale all of the details at the same time. Now I have grid snap on, so I'm going to turn that off so my scaling goes a little bit more smooth. So I'm going to scale those down and I'm going to grab this one detail and I'm going to pull it over. Okay, and these I'm probably going to drag over. So I want to separate out my perspective view of the water bottle from the parallel views of the water bottle.